Hi, uh, this is a pretty interesting question on uh, quadratic and simple equations. Let's see what this says. The number of real roots of this equation where a and b are real numbers not equal to zero simultaneously is how much? Now, both a and b cannot be zero. How many real roots are possible? Now, if I put a is equal to zero, this becomes a linear equation. Similarly, when b is zero, it becomes a linear equation. So if one of them is zero, then it becomes a linear equation. So you can have one root for sure. So this is out. This is also out. So it can be either one or one or two. Can we get two roots? Suppose both of them are not zero. Let's resolve this. You will get a square into x minus one plus b square into x equals one. So equals x into x minus one, right? So if I rewrite this, you'll get x times this will give you a square plus b square minus a equals x square minus x. Okay, if I bring this here, bring this here, so you'll get x square minus x into a square plus b square plus one minus so plus a equals zero. Now this discriminant can be positive. See both of them both of them are squares. So a square and b square will definitely be positive numbers. And you can get a case where discriminant will be positive. Right? For example, if I put a as one, b as one, you will get this will be x square minus three x plus one equals zero. This will have more than this will have exact this will have two irrational roots. Right, so it is possible to get two roots also. So you cannot say it's only one root. Option D is your correct choice. Right, simple application of your concept of quadratic equations and simple equation. You cannot be sure that both of them are not zero, but what you are definitely sure is both of them cannot be zero simultaneously. At most, only one of them can be zero. So that's why you can have one or two. You cannot guarantee two roots. You cannot guarantee only one root. You can guarantee one or two roots. You don't have to worry about zero roots. That finishes this one.